a journey into Syria. We have joined this group of fighters to witness the Islamic State group's last stand in the country. The caliphate has been smashed and IS have been driven into one last city. On its outskirts, you can see what the militants are up against. This is a Russian base here near Al Bukamal city in Syria. Alongside the Russians are the Syrian army and its many allies. There is military here from Iran, the Lebanese group of Hezbollah, and Shia fighters from Iraq. Yet another reminder that the war in Syria has become a regional battle. The forces here have driven deep into the city and have faced heavy fighting. The Islamic State group used to be spread across the entire north of Syria, but now it's been pushed into this small city behind me. This area here just been recaptured by Shia forces from here, from Syria and from Iraq. The commanders here say fighters from across the region have been needed to push back IS. Hey. We, as Iraqi Hezbollah, have entered this side of the city, but we were told by Lebanese Hezbollah to hold our position so that they can advance from the other side and we can meet in the middle. As we are talking, we come under fire from an ice sniper. The city has faced heavy bombardment from Russian cruise missiles and airstrikes. The fighters here are desperate to take the area ahead of the U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces. In many places in Iraq and Syria, the black flags of IS are quickly being replaced by that of Shia forces. This isn't just about kicking out IS. It's about influence. One of the Iraqi commanders in the area says there is now a land route that stretches across the Middle East from Iran to Lebanon. Call it what you want, a Shia area, a Shia crescent, or an area of Iranian influence. This is the situation now. It's already in place. Who controls these lands and what happens after IS is being closely watched across the region. There are fears tension could rise as the fighting continues. Firas Kilani, BBC News, Al-Bukamal, Syria.